Hello, I'm Rafael Alvarez here with Drew Martin, ASU club rugby player. Just here to talk about a little bit how he balances both the life of an athlete as well as a student here at ASU. Drew, thanks for joining me today. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, thanks for having me. So first off, how do you balance both sports and academics? You definitely, it's definitely got to be a good balance because academics take priority, especially with a club sport, not actually being a D1 athlete. But uh, I feel like having that sport or those athletics sort of take your mind off of school, it, it definitely helps as a stress reliever. Is it different just being a sports journalism student, having to also play sports? Is it kind of like, is it a different type of way or good way to describe it compared to being an athlete of just a major such, a, such as business or marketing or something of that sort? Playing sports is why I got into sports journalism in the first place. So it's sort of seamless as far as coming from high school, playing football and basketball, and then coming to college and now starting to play rugby. But I think having that background in sports journalism gives me more of an advantage as far as understanding strategies and stuff like that in sports. How much of an impact has rugby had on you? Uh, well, a uh, couple injuries already in the first couple months, so I guess physically it's had a pretty pretty decent impact, one trip to the ER, but that's kind of part of the, part of the sport. Um, I really enjoy it as far as coming from high school, like I said, playing football, basketball. I miss having that sort of team out outlet, that team sort of chemistry. You said you played football in high school. How does rugby compare to that of playing football? Uh, well, in, in, in high school, I thought football was, was exhausting. I thought it was one of the, probably the most taxing sports mentally and physically. That's not accurate whatsoever. I love football. It's still, to this day, one of my favorite sports. But rugby is the most physically exhausting game and mentally exhausting game that I think there is on the entire planet. So going back on those injuries, like you mentioned earlier, what exactly happened in those situations? Well, uh, with my less than uh, stellar luck, I managed to sprain my AC joint in my right shoulder on the second day of contact this year. So that, that left me out for a couple weeks. I was out in the sling, and it's still, as of right now, bothering me. It's kind of lingering. So you keep going into contact, and you keep aggravating it, so it's never going to fully heal while you're in season. And then in the first game back from that injury, I made it about 10 minutes in. That was my first game, and hit a very large person. And apparently, my ear on the inside split open. And so I had to take the trip to the ER and go get it glued back together. How would you explain to somebody else that's first getting into the sport of rugby, what would you tell them to pretty much prepare themselves for? Or how would be the best way to prepare themselves for that sport? Don't be afraid to get run over. It's, it's bound to happen. That's just the nature of the game. You're going to get run over. There are people that are bigger than you. There are people that are faster than you, stronger than you. You're just going to have to be able to take it. You're going to have to be one of the tougher guys out there. Going away from athletics and more so focusing on academics, you're actually going to study abroad next semester in the New Zealand. How did you get involved in that experience? Well, I've always wanted to go to New Zealand, so that's been a goal of mine for a long time, and to be able to do that through ASU's or, uh, study abroad program is awesome. Uh, I'll go over there, I'll get some credits as far as my uh, graduation goes, and obviously New Zealand is probably the biggest country as far as rugby goes. And so I want to go over there, I want to be able to play a little bit, uh, study some Maori culture, which is the Polynesian uh, like culture over there. And so being in Bear at the Honors College, I also want to try and center my thesis around that. For lack of a better word, would you say that rugby was the selling point for you to go to New Zealand? Like I said, I've always wanted to go. It's beautiful over there, and the culture is just really interesting to me. But I think rugby is, is a huge part of it now, especially being a player. I've been a fan for a couple of years. But being a player and having the opportunity to go over there and maybe try and play a little bit in one of the best rugby countries in the world, that's definitely a selling point for me. Drew, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. For Cronkite Sports, this is Rafael Alvarez signing off.